Hey there, welcome to The Junk Drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about a Ken that I've been waiting for. This is probably my favorite, favorite Ken doll from the movie, from the Barbie movie, and it is the Fur Coat Ken. I don't know if, if that's his official name, but that's kind of what everyone refers to him as. Him as. But um, yeah, this Ken is insane. The uh, from the packaging to the doll itself, there's so much going on. So let's take a quick look at the actual box. So here is the front of the box, and then the side. The side is actually embossed. It's it's kind of hard to tell, but it says Ken, I believe, right? Yeah, and the bottom it says Ken, and then there are like these like lightning bolts on the side, but they're like really deeply embossed into the plastic, which is really cool. And that's on both sides. And then the back is just a Ken uh, logo in black and white. But my favorite part about the box is the front and his logo is like crosses out the Barbie logo. So I that's such an awesome uh, little detail there and it's kind of amazing. So other than that, like the background is kind of like whatever, it's a black background. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, he's just, he just, he's so cool looking. And so let me uh, actually, I was, and I was debating whether to actually take him out of the box because I do like the packaging so much but I definitely want to take a closer look at the details of the doll. So I'm definitely gonna take him out, but I might try to put him back in the box when I'm done. So we'll see how that works, if that works. So yeah, let me get him out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so I had some second thoughts on taking him out of the box completely. So I compromised. I took him out of the box, but I'm not going to remove him from his backing. Uh, because I'm a little concerned about getting him back into the backing uh, the way I want him displayed, so compromise. So here is, uh, actually first I should show you, he comes with a stand and uh, I'm assuming it's the same black stand that all the other ones or, or the same plain stand that all the other ones have come with and the uh, COA in the back there. And here he is up close and personal. So. This, I mean, this fur coat is insane. It is so, it is so like in your face and so big and it's amazing. I am so happy with this coat. The color is really nice. It's super soft, super, super soft. And yeah, and the, and the, the print on the inside of the horses is really amazing also. It's directly from the movie. Everything here is pretty movie accurate, I feel like. So yeah, let's start from the top. So his hair is uh, gelled as always. And uh, the only thing is with his hair, I love that they gave him these like little bangs, but in the promotional images, it's like one solid piece. And that, that's like super, super nitpicky, but I just noticed that. Uh, he's wearing this headband, which I believe is removable but it's got like this purple lightning bolt design on it. And then uh, obviously he's wearing this giant floor length fur coat. Um, amazing. And then he is wearing this horse necklace. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a horseshoe with a horse head in the center of it. And then uh, he's wearing this leather vest with fringe. So this, the same thing happened with the other, my Western Ken um, doll. The fringe was like crazy. Uh, it kind of did this thing, but it kind of settled down. So I'm not sure why this is not settling down. So um, yeah, that's my only concern with the fringe. Uh, it's a little, it's a little cuckoo bananas right now, but hopefully it, it, it kind of chills out after a while. But uh, yeah, and then we come down to his pants and his pants are this like stretchy black material, like they're almost like legging material. And they have a lightning bolt design that goes down the side here. Um, and then he also has this fanny pack, this amazing Ken fanny pack. It is plastic, so it's, it's unfortunately not, not functional. 
But then, uh, and then we go down to his boots, his white, his white boots. Um, there's no painted detail or anything, but again, they are pretty movie accurate. So um, yeah, and then articulation, I'm gonna assume it's the same as every other movie doll. He does definitely have articulation. You can obviously tell here. But um, yeah, so so this is fur coat Ken. Um, yeah, I am so happy to finally have this. I feel like we order. I ordered this like so long ago, and to finally have it in my hands is incredible. So so yeah, let me know what you think of fur coat Ken in the comments below. And um, thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Uh, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.